We are heading into a pivotal turning point for our karmic destiny. This equates to a new wave of both collective global awakening and individualized personal awakening. That awakening is the beginning of an important new chapter of life in which we're being called to build the structures that support us in holding the higher consciousness of love. Dial in and get ready to receive divine messages on what to expect for the new supermoon cycle spanning from January 21st through February 4th, 2023. On the 21st and 22nd of January, depending on your time zone, we have a powerful new supermoon in the sign of Aquarius. New moons always represent an opportunity for a new beginning or new perspective, but a super new moon is an extremely powerful opportunity for this. A super moon occurs when the moon is at its closest point to the earth in its orbit, which intensifies the pull of its energy both physically and spiritually. This new moon is bringing high sensitivity to your state of being, which will guide an awakening into your perspective awakening to the truth of who you are and what you wish your life to be on the path ahead. This moon cycle is basically a huge turning point for you to align with the new life you dream of and your spiritual purpose as a conduit of love's consciousness. If you'd like to receive powerful spiritual training and healing work to propel you forward in your purpose and help you learn to channel the angels directly, then I'd love to connect. You can click the link in the description below to learn more about my Angelic Ascension Coaching Program for more details. Now, to help you make the most of this pivotal new moon shift, I'm going to share three big angel messages on the spiritual themes and lessons you can expect on the path ahead. Ready? Let's dive in. Number one is that this shift is guiding in a new wave of awakening to the divine truth that we are one. In the year 2020, powerful collective spiritual energies were flowing to help us come to this realization that we are one. The beginning of the COVID pandemic was a big part of this. It was an experience that shone a massive light on the fact that what happens on one part of this planet is inseparable from what happens to the rest of it. It showed that we are sharing in a collective experience and that what we contribute as individuals matters and plays a role in the overall state of that collective human whole. That awareness is coming back around. This doesn't necessarily mean that we all have to collectively face something as massive as COVID right now, but it does mean that the overall spiritual energy is guiding us to see and understand our oneness from a higher vantage point. Sometimes big waves of awakening can bring in very revolutionary, shocking, or intense events. And while this may certainly be a possibility, whether there's an unexpected change in your personal life or on the world stage, the real lesson here is to hone and choose how you respond. The angels want you to know that the truth and higher perspective are coming to the surface, and you have the option to respond by either opening your mind to it or resisting it. When we resist change, that's when change can be painful, but when we accept, embrace, and open to changes, we also open to greater ease and the potential for real blessings. Now, the nature of this awakening and truth coming to the surface is that it is helping us on our long-term journey of releasing and clearing the old structures of the old consciousness of lack, fear, and separation. According to the angels, we are blossoming in greater numbers than ever before into a consciousness that leans far more towards love, unity, and openness to a world of greater abundance and balance. This is the new earth that we're all co-creating. When I receive messages like this from the angels, I have to tell you that the emotion of joy and celebration that comes through is so powerful. The angels see our collective growth from a very high vantage point. And though, yes, there may be suffering on earth, there is also a profound birthing of new light, unity, and higher consciousness that can guide all of us into a more loving earthly experience. This energy is basically guiding us to awaken by way of inviting us to face and heal the things that have blocked our realization of our unity in the past. Polarized thinking is one of them. We'll be guided to face it and invited to heal it. This means that we might see a surge of polarized, limited, fear-based, black and white thinking. But as we face this collective shadow, 
we're going to be given the opportunity to change the conversation and raise the vibration. In other words, we're going to be given opportunities to heal and free ourselves of strong polarizing judgments and fear-based attachments, the kind of thinking that has kept us stuck either personally or collectively. It's going to have a lot of pressure put on it so that we may choose to awaken and grow in response. This is exactly the kind of action required in order to break free of the old and limiting and embrace a new future. Which brings us to the next big angel message for this moon cycle. Number two, a new vision for the future. As we experience this turning point towards a higher awareness of what is true, we're going to receive a huge download of creative inspiration and vision for our futures. Again, this is happening both personally and collectively. We're being guided to imagine a better future for ourselves, one that matches the new values that will surface as we get more in touch with our oneness with one another. This moon cycle is going to feel like an even better time to set New Year's resolutions than the beginning of January may have felt. And the reason why is because you're now getting much clearer about what you do and do not want. You're envisioning and grasping what is authentically right and best for you. This forward thinking is going to be accompanied by a very progressive and active forward moving energy. So this means that your ideas, when put into action, will have a huge potential to build momentum and create change. Anything that has been stuck for you will be empowered to move forward, and that forward moving momentum will continue for the better part of the first half of 2023. Basically, this is your opportunity to make profound headway in building the structures and support systems that you need in your life in order to make your dreams come true. We'll be making movements towards this collectively as well. Collectively, we need to build the systems and structures that support humanity's collective movement into more fully realized unity and harmony. We're going to have big progressive opportunities to plant those seeds as a collective from now through May of this year. The new structures we build, whether in the spiritual, mental, or physical plane, have huge potential to be long lasting ones. We're being guided to realize greater security and support for our higher dreams and destinies. This has big potential to make changes in our relationship with our values, money, with Mother Earth, and in our relationships. All of these big areas of life are receiving a surge of energy to help revolutionize and strengthen our security and level of support. Whatever change or effort we have to put into this is so worth it because again, this is all in support of birthing a new vision and reality for our future. This leads us to the final angel message for this moon cycle, number three, inner healing and transformation. Anytime we realize a new truth, then align with new personal intentions based on that truth, this triggers internal changes. If we want to manifest our highest wishes and hopes, it requires not just an outer change, but also an inner change. The life that you experience outside of you is a mirror reflection of the consciousness you're holding inside of you. So anytime you set a new intention or envision a new future, you're instigating an inner change. According to the angels, this moon cycle has big potential to bring in a lot of personal realizations for you about your true power and your highest possible direction in life. As you realize these things, there's a big chance that you're going to attract life experiences or lessons that will guide you to come face to face with what needs to change in your mindset or lifestyle so that you can manifest that higher potential. One of the biggest collective lessons coming up in support of this is going to center on boundaries. Remember how we were just talking about security and support? About how we're being spiritually guided to build a life of security and support for our, our higher visions and our dreams? Well, boundaries happen to be the pillars of security and support for this new life you're dreaming of. When you upgrade your boundaries with others or even with yourself, you are creating laser beam focus for your life, which will encourage everything in your life to serve your higher values, goals, or purpose. So this is your perfect moment to evaluate your life and ask yourself, what boundaries do I need in order to protect and support my highest values? 
Remember, boundaries are a two-way street, so your boundaries aren't just going to be about communicating the kind of treatment or space you might need from others. They're also about you and your contribution to the situation by way of your thoughts, words, and actions. Sometimes boundaries mean disciplining yourself to no longer overshare or overgive. Sometimes boundaries mean training yourself to uplift to a more positive, self-empowering, or forgiving mindset. Again, evaluate your life and see where you need a boundary upgrade. These boundaries will be the building blocks of the inner healing and transformation you need in order to align with and manifest your higher vision. Now, one more big collective lesson coming in to support your inner healing and transformation is going to be centered on rest. Rest, particularly deep healing sleep, will be so crucial for you in processing any inner healing or transformation that you're now undergoing. In fact, sleep plays a magical role in the ascension process. I'll be making a video about that soon, so keep your eyes peeled on my channel so that you can learn a little bit more about that for me. Rest and sleep is a big lesson for you right now because basically, you're being guided to honor greater balance in your life between giving and receiving, work and rest, and doing versus being. You need both active and passive forces in life in order to balance and manifest what you want. And your angels are helping you to create a balanced, fulfilling life to support that. Pay attention to the big lessons, signs, synchronicities, and opportunities that fall into your life right now. Remember, all of this is supporting an awakening that will take you into a turning point for manifesting a new future in 2023. Thank you so much for watching this video and for liking, commenting, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell below. It is my honor to be connected with you. If you'd like to work with me on your spiritual path directly and learn to channel the angels, then click the link in the description below to learn more about my angelic ascension program. I am so grateful to be sharing with you. Remember always that you are so loved and so very blessed. Bye.